two, three. It is your girl, yee -hee. I'm trying something new. Oh. Um, child, I don't know. But, um, okay, so I just, it is August the 30th. Today is Tuesday. Um, it is about 8 or 9 o'clock. Probably 9 o'clock. Um, I just left. I just left. Walmart. Um, today is actually a really lazy day for me. I'm not really sure if I if it's because I want to sleep kind of late last night or what. But um, when I got off of work today, I just came home and I took a nap. I needed a bigger nap, so that's exactly what I did. I came home and I went to sleep and. Um, Took a shower, went to sleep, and now I'm up trying to get dinner together and stuff like that. Like I said, it is kind of late. Um, so I just went to Walmart and I bought a couple of things that's already cooked. Like I bought, um, let me show you guys. <clears throat> I bought some mashed potatoes. Some baked beans and some corn. And I'm about to throw some honey barbecue wings in the oven. And then, um, I ain't think about it until after, but I should have bought some Hawaiian bread to go with it. to throw these wings in the um I should throw it in the air fryer. I might throw them in the air fryer. Let me see. And then what I also did is um for tomorrow, I am going to actually cook, because I wanted to cook some, um, oh, there's enough for wings. I wanted to cook some, um, pass me the foil, some quesadillas today, but I, I didn't have the, um, things I needed, so I ended up just getting some quick, I didn't have the things I needed, and plus, I just didn't have the energy to cook today. So I bought what I need for the case of beer for tomorrow. So I think this should be good. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this in the air fryer instead, y'all. I hope it's enough for wings. It's just for um it should be Science, yeah, it should be just enough. But, um, so I bought the stuff that I need for the quesadilla. So I'm making chicken quesadilla and I'm making shrimp quesadillas for me. Um, I don't know if you guys, these, this is uh, actually queso quesadilla cheese from Walmart. I have never seen it nowhere else. If you guys see this at anywhere else, please let me know. But I always get my queso quesadilla cheese. Queso is cheese, by the way. My quesadilla cheese from Walmart. So I buy two because I like my quesadillas to be really cheesy. And then... um. For me, I bought a wheat tortilla, and then for everybody else, I bought their regular tortilla. Then I already have the chicken, and I bought some shrimp for tomorrow. 
So that's dinner for today. Um, like I said, for some reason, I am more on the lazier side today. I don't know, probably because I stayed up kind of late yesterday um, editing the video. And today I was just so, so, so sleepy when I got off of work. I did already ate early. I had the rest, I had leftovers. I had pasta with some salmon earlier when I got home because I didn't have lunch. So just in case I get, did he forget his keys? Just in case I get hungry, um, just in case I get hungry, I brought me a salad later on for later. Oh, can I get some beer for someone? I didn't make it today. What? I'm tired. I'll make it. I don't want to dirty up the kitchen. I'm cooking dinner now. What you cooking? I just need some chicken and the air fryer and then just the, the sides. Do we have any leftovers from last night? We do have leftovers from last night. What's up, eat? But it's only the pasta for last night. Are you sound. hungry? Well, yeah, but let me figure me. out. Let me figure out what your Elijah was. I think your Elijah hungry. So if he is, I'm gonna give him a little bit of leftovers as well. And I'm gonna talk to you guys once I get in the room. In a minute. E wait, Papa. Hey, goddesses and queens. So we are <clears throat> in <laughs> in the bed chilling. You guys know is the first couple of weeks of school. And one thing about it being the first couple of weeks of school, <sighs> you have to start filling out applications for this, for that, for all type of stuff. So I filled out um, a couple of applications for the last couple of weeks. And yesterday, Elijah School requested me to fill out his application for... Uh, or daycare, I guess, for this year or something like that. I don't know. So that's what I'm feeling out right now. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the home open house yesterday. So the open house yesterday at Josiah's school was really good. Um, Josiah's always, you know, get the compliments from um, my teachers, how smart he is. I want that. Him being one of one of the biggest kids, especially in ninth grade, he always get a lot of attention. So he tends to be like very popular or known in school, which also can sometimes be like a distraction for him as well because he gets so much attention. You know, he be so busy trying to be Mr. Cool Guy that he start slacking off. But I made it clear yesterday to um, his teachers that if he they have any issues with him just to please let me know but everything went very well all his teachers look very nice seem you know very nice and, and um seems to have a good like in your size which is good because sometimes these teachers if they don't like your child like that they'll make your child's school year not the best so that was good to know um, Thursday, I have Shahira um, open house um, going on. And Friday, we actually going out of town. So, I might do this vlog until like Thursday. And then I might do a day in my life Friday type of video to drop over the weekend sometime. And then you guys going to be seeing a traveling vlog from me. We're not going too far. We're just going to Orlando. Uh, for your size 15 birthday my best friend Mariah and her kid and her son is coming um the Marion which is they've been friends since as long as they pretty much been born your size and the Marion um and um and then my other friend Big C you guys know her from the Texas vlog from a couple of vlogs actually um, I invited her, and she has three boys um, that might be coming as well, too. And then I have um, Shahira coming, my daughter. And I might bring my stepdaughter just so Shahira can have somebody to play with as well. Um, but hopefully it'll be a nice, um, nice 
outing this weekend. We're supposed to be leaving Friday. Coming back Monday. Um, not Friday. We're supposed to be leaving Saturday. Coming back Monday. Thinking about just doing dinner since we're going to get there in the afternoon Saturday. Doing dinner Saturday. Chilling, ooh, chilling at the house. Doing dinner. Saturday is your size actual birthday. So we might just take it easy and then Sunday, since we're going to be there all day, since the morning, um, doing Volcano Bay. So we'll see if it um, works out that way. But this week, I wanted to talk about, like, um, I guess mental health. This week, I'm having one of those weeks. I haven't had one of these weeks in a long time while I'm feeling, um, I guess, a little depressed. Not depressed, but just in my head a lot. Um, there's a lot of changes going on with work, with... You know, just making sure that the kids do good um, in school. Um, sometimes I, I guess sometimes I get into this space where I feel a bit overwhelmed at times. Like things could be going good and everything going good, but it could be overwhelming at times. It's crazy to explain because it's like, like this is going good, but it's going so fast. This is going good, but it's going so fast, and it's like, okay, God, I need, I need, just give me a minute, just give me a minute. But I try to stay focused because this is what you ask for, right? You ask for, you know, as as humans, we want to see everything that we work for actually evolving and growing or whatnot, and that's why when you pray to God, you have to be prepared for those blessings that He's gonna bring because. Once he hits you with those blessings, you have to be ready to catch them, you know. And sometimes it could be so much blessings coming your way that become overwhelming. Um, and I think that's where I'm at. That it's just so many blessings coming my way that I'm feeling overwhelmed, and 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 I'm praying to God to like to make me not feel that way. If that makes sense, but. I don't know. Hopefully, I, I'm going to pray about it. And hopefully, I could be able to, like, really express what I'm feeling. But that's how I've been feeling these last couple of days. But I'll be right back because the air fryer just finished. So, let me just check on that food right quick. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. So, dinner is officially ready. But, um, but yeah. So, I just feel, I just feel... You know what it is too. I think I think I'm feeling like I don't know if I'm feeling overwhelmed. You know the other day I was thinking I was thinking I was feeling not in control. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, is this feeling is because I'm feeling like I'm not in control. I feel like there's a lot going on around me. A lot of positive things going around around me. Positive things going on around me. But I have no control of how it's happening. It's just happening. Which can also be kind of scary. Because it's like, okay, I'm a very, like... I never been in the military. My parents never been in the military. Well, they're merchant marines, but I'm a very like boom, 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 boom type of person. So when things are happening and I don't have no control in it, I almost start feeling like like I'm in the middle of a tornado and then everything is just going on, going on, going on. And I think that's what I'm feeling. And if anybody know what that is. Or understand what I'm feeling or have any advice please comment down below because that's that's exactly how I'm feeling lately I'm feeling like a lot of good shit is happening but I have no control on how it's happening which also got me feeling some type of way about it but I have put it in God's hands and I'm grateful for everything that's happening like everything Everything is happening how it's supposed to happen. But it's just... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and... um, I think I'm going to finish today's vlogging here. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I might talk to you guys in the morning tomorrow. Tomorrow, like I said, I don't have much to do. 
Um, he lied. It's morning. Hello, goddesses and queens. It is your girl Ye, and welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is Wednesday. Um, on my way, just dropped off your size to school. On my way to work, debating should I get breakfast or not. I am kind of hungry today. I told y'all last night, as soon as I got home, like around six o'clock, I had lunch. I had dinner pretty much, slash lunch, because I didn't eat at work, and I didn't eat anything else for the day. So I am starving. I woke up starving this morning. So I'm debating, should I go grab me something to eat? But I also call myself not trying to eat out this week, I'm trying to be as, um, budget, fr budget friendly as possible. Um, we're traveling this weekend, as I told you guys yesterday, and um, and then I'm, I'm transitioning work, so trying to make sure I have you know my ducks wrapped up together, I guess. Um, but y'all heard about that damn um parent that went on the bus and was yelling at all the kids for bullying his his um his child i feel multiple ways i feel like sometimes as a parent you gotta get ignorant with these damn kids especially these kids nowadays they don't be giving a fuck like they really don't and it's like you try not to like step in step to no to no um kids but especially these Caucasian babies, those parents don't be having no control on those kids. It's some kids that really be running their parents. Their parents can tell them, hey Johnny, don't do that no more. Don't bother that child. And when they see that child, they bother that child. So sometimes as a parent, you have to get ignorant. You have to get ignorant. I'm sorry. I, I feel, I wish, and then the parents snapped, and then like the next day or something like that, he went on the news and he apologized. I wish he should have apologized for the kids that didn't have no involvement with that. Because I could imagine Shahira in the bus and the parents snapping on, on, on the kids in general, which I believe it has happened. But Shahira be like, they ain't talking to me because it wasn't me. But she, she do, it do seem like crazy as fuck to her. So I could see how the innocent parents, the innocent kids' parents could probably feel uncomfortable because it'd be like, bro, my kid ain't got nothing to do with that. You just snapped on all the kids. I feel that. But if your kid don't be bothering nobody, your kids probably going to feel like they ain't have shit to do with me. But if that, if that parent do decide to do something stupid, now your child that have absolutely nothing to do with it is at risk as well of getting harmed. So I understand why he apologized, but I also wish he should have explained why, which he did say, you know, his child was bullied last year and then a couple of days ago the child was jumped. But he should also make it his business to explain like, you know, kids are really like killing themselves or really like hurting themselves off of some bullying type shit like nowadays they don't just bully you at school you know what i'm saying nowadays they look at you so as 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 young as elementary school they look at they look at your social media and bring that up at school or they you know bully you on internet and at school so it's like bullying is way more intense than when we was growing up so I wish he would have explained that part a little bit more, like why it's so important to leave people, kids alone. So I feel him. At the same time, I feel him. I feel as if those bullies, if he spoke to the parents, which he said the parents has been reached out to, nothing has happened. Sometimes a parent got to do what a parent got to do and get as ignorant as these damn kids. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all comment down below what y'all think. I know y'all I know y'all probably gonna say no, you shouldn't put yourself in a child's place. But child wanna be grown. Children wanna be grown sometimes, so you gotta get grown with them. 
But anyways, y'all, I'm on my way to work. I'm going to talk to you guys later on this afternoon. I'm sorry for the lighting, but I'm driving. The sun is in my face. Even though this line, it probably look nicer on me, but uh, I'm ready to take this hair off. I think I'm going to take it off Thursday night or Friday night because my hair low-key itchy. But we going to a water park Sunday, and I don't want to wet my hair and mess up my curls. So I'm trying to hold it down for the weekend, but I'm tired of this hairstyle. I ain't going to lie. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to see my my nice curls and I'm ready to have them drop I'm ready to have my hair out I'm tired of being bald head but talk to you guys later um, this afternoon I might go see my bassoos I was going to take the kids to Crumble's Cookies a couple of weeks ago might go do that and yeah but anyways love, peace and hair grease Hey y'all, so I ended up getting me a smoothie. It's called the Superhero. Um, but you guys know, like I said, I'm trying to be budget friendly. So I got the smaller one. So we gonna call this compromising, okay? I'm compromising with myself. Cause any other time I would have spent $15 with a bigger one, but I spent $7. Thank you, me. How y'all like it? The um, Breakfast Club was just Charlamagne and um, DJ Envy. I'm actually liking it, y'all. Like, I think it's funny. I think it's like more like organic, and they don't really gotta like be so like political correct. They can just be themselves. So let me let me know what y'all think. Um, I just made it to work. I'm 15 minutes late. <sighs> This is like my Thursday. Today's Friday. Today's Wednesday, but this is my Thursday. So, talk to you guys later. Hey y'all. So I made it in the office. I wanted to show you guys something. You guys, I got no. I gotta start cleaning up. But look at this, y'all. I got a bag full of bags in my office. And I just brought a new bag. So that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> Put it right in my bag. And that's going to go back to my other office. Because you never know when you need a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but anyways, finally at work. Let me get these eight hours out the way. Got my little smoothie. Yeah, pray for me. Good morning, goddesses and queens. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is Thursday, September 1st. Walking into work. Today is actually my last day at this job. Um, we're going to be having a luncheon and stuff like that um, for my last day. So I'm going to try to get a little snippet of what we do today. Um, Honestly, I don't know how this vlog coming along, y'all. This is a four-day vlog. I normally don't vlog for this long. So hopefully when I edit, it all comes together. But yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. Elijah did not sleep very well last night. So, and then we have open house today at Shahira School. So yeah, pray for me because it's going to be a long day. And it's only 8 o'clock and I'm exhausted already. So... Talk to you guys later. I'm not gonna pack this up because I'm gonna make me this um this tea I've been making me. Let's see. Drunk mornings, drink you a tea. You got a Coffee, but I need coffee. Coronavirus, stay ready. You don't have to get ready. A little bone. A knife, you gotta 
tell her to stop playing with me. Or you need to cut a sandwich or make a sandwich. Lotion. You need to forget to put your lotion in the morning. Been home for about an hour. Y'all gonna see a little dark spot right now because trying to get to the back. I've been um I've been charging my laptop. Let me see how these kids got my mom room, child. I need to clean up my mom room. They just got it all cut away. But I've been cleaning. I've been letting my phone charge. My not my phone, my laptop charge. So I can um. So I can upload this vlog for tomorrow and edit and took a shower, took out my hair. I hope you guys are liking it. Um, this is, it is really cute. I love it actually. I really, really like this hairstyle. Hopefully, I know as the days go by, the um, curls is going to drop, 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 but hopefully it holds way more than how it used to. When I had the longer length hair, my curls, it ain't even get nothing like this. Um, so, and it'll drop it like a day. So hopefully with a shorter hair, the curls will hold a little bit. Let me show you guys the back. The curls will hold a little bit longer and stuff. I really like it. I'm gonna actually tie my hair up in a minute. Um, but for right now, my hair been in a scarf all day, so I'm gonna just let it catch. Oh, I got another one right here. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through my hair a little bit more to make sure I took everything out. I feel one, but yeah, not home doing much or nothing. Been home pretty much relaxing, and um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hey y'all, so we in the car, we about to go pick up Eli, go grab me a coffee, and then go to Shahira School for her home, for her um, open house. Uh, I know y'all gonna get tired of me being in this car, but this is my weekday vlog, y'all. I'm in the car, being a mommy, um, working, so I'm sorry, but yeah, so we on our way to go pick up baby number one and then we'll go grab mommy some coffee and then we're gonna go to open um, house i'm so upset because i don't took out my pipe cleaners and it's raining and my hair gonna get wet which gonna cause my curls to drop what is this what is this but anyways talk to you guys in a minute you guys definitely gonna come along um yeah, later. Hey y'all. So I just finished cooking dinner. For the cut, turn this down. I don't want no copyright issues. Just finished cooking dinner tonight. I am having a wheat tortilla, shrimp, and veggie quesadilla. With a little bit of hot sauce and some avocado. The family having chicken and steak quesadilla. But I'm about to finish the vlog here. 
But before I finish, I wanted to welcome all my 1K subscribers. Y'all, we have 1,020 something subscribers. So, we want to congratulate ourselves for having our first 1,000 subscribers because we got many, many more to come. So, welcome to the family, bro, sis, everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this channel. And if you are new to this channel, check out the other vlogs and subscribe. Run us up. Our goal is 50, 100,000K subscribers, family members, aunties, uncles, whatever. Um, but I want y'all to watch the videos all the way. Oh, we got a special guest. He want to say thank you to all the subscribers. What you got? Well, I'm steady. Special guest, special guest in the house. Bruce Wayne. Say thank you, baby. All right, I want to thank y'all. Making, what, a thousand subscribers? Yep, a little bit over a thousand subscribers. So y'all want to thank, we monetized now, right? Not yet. I need y'all. No, I'm playing. To watch the videos all the way. So we could get to 1,000 and over, watch over. Blessings to be you. Thank you. Mm -mm. What it called? Watch time. So we can get monetized. Because, you know, we got to feed these babies over here. But. Once again, thank you guys. For everyone that shared my post the other day. For stopping by and loving us enough to press that. Subscribe button. Thank you guys. And we only going up from here, baby. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is your girl, Yee. And it's Alex. Three.